Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Today, I'm gonna to be providing a review of the Gear Doctor's Apollo sleeping pad. Hey, welcome to the channel, where I make bikepacking videos and review gear. And today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the Gear Doctor's Apollo Air Four Season Sleeping Pad that I've had a chance to test out over the last couple of months in near freezing weather. The pad weighs 480 grams, and when rolled up, it's 22 by seven centimeters, about the size of a one liter Nalgene bottle. When the pad is blown up, it's 183 centimeters long, 58 centimeters wide, and over eight centimeters thick. The Apollo Air has a stated R value of 5.2, which means it's rated to perform up to minus 19 degrees Celsius. R value measures the capacity of a pad to resist heat flow. So the higher a pad's R value, the better it will insulate you from cold surfaces. Anything above a five is considered to be very good and acceptable for four season camping. The pad comes with a pump sack to blow it up, thereby avoiding moisture from blowing it in with your mouth and extending the life of the product. The Apollo Air retails for $125 Canadian and it comes with a lifetime replacement, no need to return warranty. Over the last seven years, I've been using a Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, which retails for $290 Canadian. It's gonna be my baseline for comparison because it has a similar weight and similar dimensions. Okay, so here are my overall thoughts. This is gonna sound obvious, but one of the most important features of a sleeping pad is its ability to stay inflated overnight. I've had a lot of issues with a Thermarest losing air at night, and I've actually returned the pad twice to have it replaced. It's such a pain to have to wake up and blow up your air pad in the middle of the night, but I haven't had any issues with air loss since using the Apollo Air, and it's been performing very well. I tend to sleep on my side and my stomach, which means the pad thickness is important. The Apollo Air is plenty thick, and I found it to be very comfortable. In fact, my partner and I have a newborn baby, and I've been doing a lot of the late night feedings, and I've actually been setting up the pad in the baby's room to take naps while she's falling back asleep. The Apollo Air is much more quieter than any other sleeping pad I've used. This is important for me as I tend to toss and turn a fair bit in my sleep, and the noise is bothersome both for myself and my friends that might be camping close to me. At at least half the price of a comparable Thermarest pad, the Apollo Air is a really good budget alternative. Dollar for dollar, I think you're getting a much better pad for your money compared to the major brands. The Apollo Air performed very well for me at freezing temperatures. I didn't feel any heat loss coming from the pad, and once again, I was really happy with how it performed. While I really like the Apollo Air sleeping pad, and it's going to be my new go-to for my bikepacking kit, I have a few suggestions for improvements. I'm almost 195 centimeters tall, so with the pad being 183 centimeters long, it's a tiny bit short. I tend to sleep in a bit of a fetal position on my side, so it's not really much of an issue, but it would be nice to have an option to size up. Based on some conversations with gear doctors, it sounds like they might have something in the works to create a slightly larger pad. In 2020, a new industry methodology for calculating R values from the American Society for Testing Materials was established to allow for more objective comparison of heat loss between pads. It doesn't appear that Gear Doctors uses this new standard, so I would like to see them move towards this in the future. However, I do appreciate that Gear Doctor is a smaller company, and I'm not sure what the barriers or costs would be to using the new standard, or if it would actually result in a different rating. With that being said, my overall experience has been very positive, even in zero degree temperatures. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video was useful for you. I would definitely recommend the Apollo Air if you're looking for a budget alternative to some of the major brands. Consider subscribing if you want to see more bikepacking and gear review-related content, and I'll catch you in the next one.